guys, Sophia here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is another episode of me puttering around and getting things done. If you remember last week, I did uh, the patch up work on the cracks around the house. So today I'm going to play with concrete <laughs> and try to make things look a little bit smoother. I've never worked with concrete before, so you're probably in for a treat because I think it's going to be a big mess. So I have to do a concrete, um, patch up the holes and all of that and smooth things where there was kind of a dent you know what i mean if you saw the episode last week you know what i'm talking about once that's dry i'm painting in white and then i have to bring all the gravel in the meantime scott is going to go on the other side and start sanding the side of the concrete base of the house that had all of the ivy that's now dead thank goodness but the ivy roots and some bits and pieces are still there so that has to be smoothed out so that can be painted too so the goal here is really to clean out the bottom part of the house, make it look a little bit um, newer, I guess. There's a lot of things I want to do with this property over the summer. One of the reasons why I'm doing this actually is because I need to get rid of my gravel. I have a ton of leftover gravel. I purchased five cubic yards and I think I have three left. <laughs> so I need to do something with the gravel. The vast majority of it is going to go to the back of the garden. Um, as a dry river bed for the water that runs through but that's still way too much gravel so I'm gonna put it around the perimeter or at least on this one side of the house to make things look a little bit cleaner so let's get started it's sweltering hot um, yeah I'm prepared <laughs> I have my cucumber water and I'm gonna putter around with concrete wish me luck again I've never done concrete before so I hope I don't mix it in a way where it's too liquid or too dry, I'm not sure. I have to really read the directions for once. And right now we're pretty lucky because there's no landscapers working, just a few um, contractors here and there, so the noise is not too bad. Alright, so this is what I did last week. I covered uh, these cracks here and here, and it took the whole week to dry, by the way, which I thought to be kind of surprising. So this is all dry, which is good, but all of this here and here needs to be filled up with concrete. And then on this side, I did this one last week. I did the edge here on the top, and then this one. And again, this is the whole area here that's going to be covered in gravel once everything is painted. Last week I also did those two um, hybrides and they're doing pretty good. There is no sign of stress whatsoever. But I want to show you something right now. If you're on my Instagram, uh, you probably saw them. If you're not, check out my Instagram. <laughs> These are my John Paul II um, hybrid tea roses and they are absolutely stunning. I wish there was um, odorama of sorts so you guys could smell them. They are wonderful. They smell beautiful, they really are. So I managed to keep the deer away. So I have these and that's the reason why you see a lot of that white residue on the leaves is because I spray them literally every night. And then on this side, I have um, one I need to cut and then I have a tiny Olympiad uh, that's coming up. So as they grow, they grow up to six feet tall, by the way. The roses grow as well. So these roses will get much bigger. All right, so now we're going on the other side of the house. And this is the area. I'm telling you about that Scott has to remove all of that dead ivy. And all of this needs to get painted. I don't see, yeah, there are some cracks, so I'll do the leftover concrete on that. Um, we used to have ivy all the way on top, and it took us years to get rid of it. It makes so much damage. It's awful. Don't get ivy. Yeah, so last week I moved the garbage that were here. Um, I found these two on the street. I'm probably going to repaint them and either use them or sell them. But I moved the garbage here and the goal is to do a little cubicle here. Uh, here's the garden looking pretty, pretty nice. I wanted to show you one thing here. Um, the butternut squash has extended itself 
um, <laughs> all the way to this side. So here's a butternut squash and lavender is doing good. I have some chamomile going on. Garden's doing good. Scott left the gate open, but that's all right. We don't have the dogs right now. And you see I have plenty of flowers as well. Okay, so this is what I got the other day and that was super inexpensive. It was only like $7.95. Uh, this is called concrete patcher, vinyl concrete patcher, um, and it's just basically for the outdoors. So it comes in a bag of 10 pounds, and you mix 10 ounces of water per 5 pounds. Um, they don't want you to mix the whole thing, and you only mix enough concrete that you can use within 30 minutes, which tells me that one, I have to work very fast. Two, it sets really, really quickly. So I'm just gonna cut the bag in half, basically, or at least best I can, um, to give me approximately five pounds, and I'm gonna mix it in this. It's gonna have to get washed afterwards because that's really the only um, plastic bin I have that's like that, and I don't wanna lose it. So I don't know if you see what I'm doing, but I basically cut it in half. So again, I'm not an expert on concrete, but what I'm looking for is something that I can sculpt somehow. And then if I press on it, like I just did here, I can make it smooth. You see what I mean? Um, so I think this is the texture I'm looking for here. Let me show you. I think, because this is sculptable and I can make it nice and smooth. So let's start with the big cracks. I feel like I should have spent more time watching the guys doing the concrete patchwork on sidewalks um, to figure out how to do it. But anyway, all right, so this I'm just going to angle it like this. Smoothing that a little bit more, I'm wetting my little trommel here and I'm going over with a little bit of moisture. And it gives me a nice smooth finish. This I think I remember from watching the guys doing the sidewalks.
So if you remember over here I had an indentation, right? It was doing like an angle. So the last time I filled in the crack and now what I'm doing is that I'm basically smoothing out the area here. I'm still going to have an indentation but it's not going to be a, a right degree, a 90 degree angle. I'm trying to smooth it out so it just looks like a curve, I guess. Um, I mean, it's not ideal. Ideally this whole thing should be redone. But at least it doesn't look as bad. Um, once it's painted, you'll barely notice it. So it's done and looks really smooth on this area here. Some people are probably going to wonder why bother. Well, I'd rather live with painted, smoothed out um, edges than cracks. I don't know about you, but <laughs> I think the cracks were much worse looking than what this is going to look like once it's painted and you see the whole bottom here is nicely filled out. So these are my front steps and you can see that I have a lot of uh, cracks. It used to have this here which I believe was a design and then they patched it with concrete and the concrete is not coming off. So I have an idea. I can either remove all of it on all the steps and paint but the one on top here is still pretty good or I can use the leftover concrete that I have that I haven't mixed yet and remove as much as I can of this here and kind of finish off the step and then fill in the crack over here as well and I think this is what I'm going to do um, that way I can really clean this up and make it look a little bit better so the first thing I need to do is really clean out the whole area because I have a lot of you know, dry um, grass and all of that and then I'm just going to hammer this thing out and get rid of all of the excess that's falling off and then mix some concrete again and fill all the cracks. So I have the whole bottom done and it's as smooth as I can get it. It's starting to dry. I have the patch uh, on this one here. I have another type of concrete that I found in my uh, basement stash. I'm going to use as a thin set and I'm just going to do these in steps real quick just to cover them so that I don't have cracks and it looks a little bit more uniform. But this, I don't know if it's going to last. We'll see. Um, I mean, I assume that eventually, you know, with moisture, weather, whatever, it will come off. But it's much better than uh, broken concrete and exposed white paint, whatever they had um, underneath it. It's not difficult to work with concrete. I don't know if I have the right method, but I smoothed it out. I smoothed it out as much as I could. Once it's dry, I don't think um, it will show that much. So, yep, let me see where Scott is out with his chore. Oh wow, you really cleaned it up. Wow. You really cleaned up. Oh, I guess. Yeah, all of this needs to get I just sanded. Needed to get the debris out of the way so I could see what I've done. Yeah, and then you gotta sand. 
and then it's just a matter of uh, maybe you can take the um, shovel or something and try to break this root here yeah but we finally got rid of that ivy oh, it looks like there's none coming back right yeah it looks like it's all dead um, this is a stump yeah we... this is a stump all right um, and I think there's another one over here someplace or we... a hole where a stump was somewhere in there someplace in there all right. um, looking good Looks like I'm gonna have to do some concrete jobs here too. Probably not this weekend. I don't know. I gotta see if I have enough of that thin set I'm creating to see if I can patch those holes, but it's gotta get sanded first. Anything anymore because uh, everything has to set um, you can see the difference in color the one at the bottom is still very much wet and the one on top uh, is very much dried <laughs> so I did all of the cracks um, and yeah I mean you know you can see a difference in color where the uh, concrete was placed because it's all concrete uh, outside of it and, you know, could have used a little bit of cleaning. But we discussed that and Scott and I are in agreement. It would be very nice if the instep was painted. Uh, Scott doesn't want to do it in white, um, which I would prefer, but he said that he'd be okay with a dark gray like the one you see at the bottom because it would be less visible, I guess. So we'll do that. Uh, but in the meantime, the steps are finally looking much better and then he's done on that side and I've already um, patched the cracks there too so all of this has been sanded and you can see where I did some patchwork on cracks so tomorrow when we come back we'll start painting everything you did a great job thanks it's looking good in the meantime this area here is still drying so obviously I can't painted today yeah it's still very much drying the one over there might be um, starting to set but as long as it's dark gray like this it's drying so there's nothing else I can do today so I'm done for today um, because I have to learn to pace myself I thought I was gonna do a whole bunch more but it's already three o'clock in the afternoon it took quite some time to do the steps um, I like the idea of painting the instep I think it's gonna look really really clean Ideally, I would prefer to have um, either bricks or like a stone placed on it, but you know, we're trying to like do budget right now. It's small maintenance that I'm doing for the house to make it look better. It makes me feel better about the house. It keeps me active and then, you know, um, in the end, it looks better. You know, I, it's just what I want for the house to look better from the outside when uh, people come over they don't see cracks it's neat it's clean that's all I'm asking for so um, it's kind of late the kids already ate their lunch we're gonna have lunch take a shower and probably take a ride to Goodwill somewhere so if I do film I'll insert it here so you can see what I'm doing and then the next video on Wednesday which will be tomorrow for me I'm definitely painting uh, the white and the gray and then adding the gravel so that project will be done and then I have to move on to the back uh, so that's gonna be next weekend I have to remove some weed tree bushes that's in the back dig it up a little bit I'm trying to get rid like I mentioned earlier in this video I'm trying to get rid of all the gravel that I have on the black top because eventually the black top needs to be resealed so I can't have the gravel on top of it that's got to be moved so I'll do the dry river bed and then yes 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 I'll do the garage doors <laughs> I don't know when <laughs> but they will be done um, before the end of the summer so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, I don't think it was much um, but I still got quite a lot accomplished and that um, hydraulic quick set man does it dry fast uh, not only does it dry fast but it gets hard really really fast so yeah just do a little batch at a time 
um, it's not for you to make a big bucket because you end up having like uh, concrete shoes, you know what I mean? <laughs> kind of deal. So anyway, that's it. I'm done. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye. Hey, so um, we didn't make it on time to the Goodwill. So we tried to go to a Salvation Army and it turned out that they no longer exist, but they didn't update the website. So we're in Wayne uh, and we took a road we've never seen before and we ended up spotting a farm. <laughs> there's a farm in Wayne, New Jersey, I had no idea. And it looks like there's a uh, petting zoo and a store, a whole bunch of stuff. So we're gonna put the masks on and we're gonna take a tour of the farm. Yeah, and this is like 20 miles away from New York City. We're gonna go check out the chicken and I see all sorts of goodies over there. Oh, and they do mulch. All right. Oh, look, a donkey. Let's go check out the donkey. All right, so there's some guinea fowls right there. A black chicken. I don't think I've ever seen one before. Yeah, that seems a little unusual. And then the, I think these are guinea fowls, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Can you see a peacock? All right. And donkeys. Well, we don't want to see your butt. This is a small donkey. Hello. Hello. There's another one. Oh, goats. Okay. Do not pet animals. Uh oh, I just tried to do that. just checked out the farm and that's the only one really that's that close to our house it's only 15 minutes away we had no idea this was here and we've been living around here 11 12 years now 10 10 um, whatever <laughs> yeah, we're so sheltered uh, the farm itself is really nice beautiful vegetables I mean you saw what they have in the store uh, the store is very nice they have a big variety lots of jams lots of everything I got a, a jar of um, sweet chow chow which I used to make from my Amish cooking book I really really like it but this one was I guess artificial sweetener in it so it didn't have um, any added sugar it's very low in calories so I'm gonna have some of that for dinner and we bought a peach berry pie you bought it well, we... I <laughs> you bought. picked it. I, I, picked. I, just, I just put the card out. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a, uh, a peach berry pie. I just kind pie. of went pie. 
<laughs> yeah, but you want it though, right? I, I do, but uh, I, oh, I kind of have... like I kind of like having a, a thinner waistline. Oh, and one slice of pie, I'm gonna kill you. Um, I won't have any, but the kids will devour it. Um, I could easily make that, but I think the anyway. teenager will devour yeah, it. Yeah, Edward is definitely gonna have midnight snacks out of that. Um, the animal part, I just felt that it was poorly maintained. Um, the animals didn't look like they were really happy. Uh, so I, I understand why they have a petting zoo. It's probably because of parents bringing their kids and stuff. Um, but I don't know. But anyway, I would come back here to buy, um, you know, kind of like a Brent's apple orchard. Yeah, if they had apples. You know, but they have, you go to those farm and they, they have their own preserves and all of that. So that, you know, that's a plus anyway. So I'm done with this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.